Water exhibits polarity due to its unique molecular structure, featuring a negative pole and a positive pole. This property leads to a realm of intricate interactions. An outcome of water's polarity is its tendency for molecules to bond together. The negatively charged oxygen end of one water molecule attracts the positively charged hydrogen end of another, resulting in a connection known as a hydrogen bond. This phenomenon occurs in liquid water, giving rise to intricate and sizable molecular arrangements. The impact becomes more pronounced as temperatures decrease, causing water to freeze into ice. Water's frozen state, commonly referred to as ice, possesses intriguing qualities. Scientists have identified 17 distinct types of ice, with the prevalent form on Earth labeled as ice 1H. The ordered crystalline arrangement gives rise to an exceptional trait, ice's ability to float. This behavior is quite uncommon. Unlike most solids, which are denser in their solid form compared to their liquid form, ice at atmospheric pressure and 0 degrees Celsius is approximately 8% less dense than liquid water. This is why icebergs float on the oceans. This observation is not only fascinating but also holds significant implications. Some researchers propose that this unusual behavior might have played a pivotal role in shaping and preserving life on our planet. If ice were denser than liquid water, ice sheets would sink, potentially causing lakes, seas, and oceans to freeze from the bottom upwards. This scenario, particularly during Earth's major glaciations, could have led to a perpetual solid state. Such a transformation would have severely disrupted ecosystems and food chains relying on bottom-dwelling aquatic life. The intricate structure of ice can be attributed to the principles of quantum theory, which, despite their small number, yield profound simplicity. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share your insights in the comments below.